All right, guys, today I want to explain to you what my thought process was behind this workout. So step one, I used my flex unit from Jim Wear to um, find a nice 1RM pause with, uh, that's two double bands per side. And the goal was to work up to a 1RM, but to keep it above 0.4 meters per second. And so, um, which that's my entire workout right there displayed by, um, you know, the software that you get with the awesome um, flex unit. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun with that, by the way. And so, um, here's, got up to 190. Th those bands I actually measured with a um, scale. And it's probably a little bit more, the, you know, I'm saying that they're about 25 kilograms each doubled. Um, you'll see that I actually had to use, that is 50, 60 kilos to hold them down. And so, Without the greens, the reds actually came off the ground. So they're a little bit more than actually 50 kilos each. But I'm accounting. I'm assuming that the reds are like having two reds per side. So here was the big one I, I went up to, which was, um, you know, that's 100, it's like 105 kilos plus, you know, another 100 kilos in bands at 0.54 meters per second. And I stopped there. I just, um, I was pretty confident that was as heavy as I was going to go. And you'll see what I do. After every set, I check my um, my iPad that has the software on it, and it tells me if my velocity was you know 0.4 or faster. That one said 0.54, but then I was like done. So uh, this this little video gives you an idea of all the things it shows: velocity. Uh, I can look at power. I can look at uh, distance that I move the bar, which I use that big time when I do jumps, jump training, and then um, it gives you a little graph showing you how you move it up and down. Bar path is really cool for all of you weightlifting coaches out there. Um, I'm going to do more on that. I'm going to do a lot of these little videos to give you guys insight. But um, this is the first one. Just to let you, and then you can actually see the timer. You can time your, like if you're a west side barbell, take it, you know, take 60 seconds between sets. Well, you got your timer will actually start the clock for you. So now we're back to 160. You know, that's 100, uh, you know, 100 kilos in bands plus 60 kilos in bar weight. Here's uh, set number two of the, of the down sets. And now I'm in that strength speed world, somewhere between 0.75 and 1 meters per second. And on my third and final set, I actually hit 0.83. So, um, you know, the, the cool thing is, is it just lets you know, are you really tra you know, training in the right um, qualities of strength? FYI, 160 is 70% of my 1RM, which is normally considered accelerated strength. But you know, since the bands increases the speed of the eccentric phase, uh, you're able to go anywhere between 5 and 10%. You're able to, to carry that much extra of load and still hit those speeds with when you use bands. So that's a big benefit of bands. Here you see my setup. Um, I'm just showing you the way I did it. Like I had to be creative. You know, obviously we're in the quarantine uh, life side of things and so I had to be creative uh, there's a interesting way that I did it you know I um, doubled the bands underneath all those plates is a, a collar and I ran the bands through the collars and then up through the plates which you'll see how I did it uh, in a second and you're also going to get an idea how heavy this thing was because when I take off this last band the bar almost flips so anyone who's a veteran lifter knows that um, it takes a lot to flip the bar and so um here's here's the actual setup so I ran them through there i tried just using uh, one red then i tried two re two reds and finally it took two reds and a green to hold it down so you'll see how i ran it through the the collar so um it worked i'm probably gonna go to the gym and get some uh, dumbbells uh, or kettlebells and make it a little bit more convenient but uh, anyway i got through week one so i'm excited and uh, we'll see how next week goes.